Apple's new operating system for the iPhone is iOS 14 and it brings many new features for your iPhone and iPad. One of the tent pole feature is the ability to add widgets and custom app icons to the home screen and they are surprisingly wonderful. They offer a quick glance into the apps without having to fire them up. So hey guys, my name is Kashif and here in this video, I'll share how you can make custom iPhone widgets and app icons with iOS 14. The process of adding widgets to the home screen on the iOS 14 is really simple. When you are on the home screen, tap on an empty spot on the screen to activate jiggly mode and tap on positive icon on the top left corner of the screen. A list of widgets will appear initially. Within the list, you will notice some pre-made widgets ready for you to add but you can scroll down and tap on different apps on the list to see their respective widgets in different sizes for you to add. Now either tap on the widget of your desired liking and size or drag it into the home screen. If you choose to tap, the widget will provide additional size option. Once chosen, tap on add widget. Tap turn to exit jiggly mode. Now how you can make custom widget with apps? When iOS 14 was still in beta phase of its development, the only widget that were available were Apple's own. However, with the official release, a lot of developers are now updating their apps by adding widget support. Over time, we also expect many other apps to come up with their own widgets. That said, here are some iOS 14 widgets that you can get. These apps have only made the list because they offer some value, look good and stand out from the rest. Documents by Riddle is a powerhouse of a files app. It lets you store any kind of file and preview it seamlessly. What's great about this app is that it doesn't make you feel like you are using a creep, terribly uh, designed flaky file manager. Riddle has done a really great job designing the app and its widgets are no less amusing. In all, documents offer 12 widgets spanning 4 categories, namely music, recents, favorites and actions. The music category features widgets that let you track what's being played and also what's next in the line in 3 different sizes. The recent widget let you glance through the files you recently browsed within the app and the favorite widget will show you a glimpse of your favorite files and allow you to access them in a tap right from the home screen. Finally, the action category features widget that let you perform certain in-app actions by tapping on quick shortcuts. However, the most striking feature about documents widgets is their design. It's colorful, consistent and unlike any other. I think you would like to have them on your home screen. The second app is Spark Mail. Spark Mail is a prophylic email app known for its simplicity, design and the host of smart features that help you manage and view your email better. The app features useful features such as email collaboration, scheduling, natural language search, cloud support, built-in calendar and sleek design. It's because of unconventional nature of these features and the fact that they have packed in a single email app. That spark is popular and now it's added a slew of new widgets too. The new widgets are also just as simple as the app and they display emails and calendars in different widget sizes. For instance, you can set a 2x2 widget that simply show the number of emails you have received. Larger widget display more information including a peek at the content of the email a calendar and a several quick actions. Spark's calendar widget is a something to look out for. It's unlike other calendar widget on the iOS 14 and displays your event in a unique and colorful timeline. Sparks also supports iOS 14 default app feature which allows you to set it as a default email client on your iPhone. Now that you have your widget to your liking, you can make custom app icons for all the programs on your iPhone. This means you can replace anything from the Facebook or Spotify logo to the icons of the Apple's native setting or mail apps with the image of your choosing. Bonus point, if you pick a collection of picture that match, gather all the images you want to use 
To make your custom iPhone app icons, I'll link some icon pack in the description box so make sure to check them out. Open the shortcut on your iPhone, it's one of the pre-installed app on your iPhone. Click on the plus sign in the top right of your screen. Search for the app and action. Next, you will see a new shortcut page where you add the step to automation. When the action panel appears, in the scripting panel, select open app and then tap on choose. In the choose app panel that appears, select the search bar and type the name of the app you would like to launch when you tap your custom icon. Then tap the app's name in the result list. You can choose any app on your iPhone or iPad. Next tap the three dots menu button on the top right corner. A details panel will appear. First tap shortcut name and name the shortcut anything you would like to do. So it will be labeled properly in the shortcut app. Then tap add to home screen. In the panel that pops up, locate the home screen name and icon section. Select the placeholder icon to the left of the new shortcut. In the context menu that pops up, select choose photo. Using the photo selection panel that appears, locate and choose the photo in your library you would like to use as your new custom app icon. After you select it, you will have a chance to crop it to the fit square ratio of a standard app icon. Repeat the step for every app icon you want to customize. Shortcut will be redirect you to the app you assign. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Since iOS 14 is just released and I am sure lots of app company will support widget more in the future. If you have any questions, use comment section. I also would like to hear your recommendations. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hit the like button and subscribe for more video like these. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.